Hey everyone and welcome back to the Fish Market Academy where we teach you how to fish for games. So in today's video, we will be exploring the Carbon DMAX chain. If you found this video useful, do remember to like and subscribe and let's get started. So if you head on over to the website, it's dam.exchange, it's a nice uh, homepage and if you click on view live trading, uh, you go over to the trading page where you can see the application UI and if you look at the top right corner, you'll see connect wallet and here you can connect with either your Ledger, your Kepler or your MetaMask. For this video, I'm just going to connect with Kepler because I think most of us are coming from the Cosmos ecosystem. So I just click on Kepler and I'll connect. And then uh, you see that, that it just gets connected and there's some terms and conditions. That there's no registration required. Uh, this is just like a disclaimer that um, you, you need to make sure that you are, you know what you're doing and there's, there's risk involved in trading, etc. So nothing uh, out of the ordinary, then you just click on start trading. And once you're in, um, you go over to balance and you'll see it's a fresh account, there's nothing inside. So what I'm going to do is I want to buy some SWIFT and the best place to buy SWIFT is on DMAX itself. Uh, but you can also buy it on Uniswap and Osmosis and I'll do a quick comparison later on. But for now, the best place with the liquidity is on SWIFT and you want to go over to uh, any asset that you have. So uh, because we are coming from Cosmos, I'm definitely going to have some Cosmos token. So I'm just going to go over to uh, my Cosmos uh, balance, click deposit, right? And now I'll be on this page. And then after that, I'll click on connect Kepler and it connects instantly. And I'm just going to deposit a small amount inside, like uh, $4, just to give an example. And the window will pop out and it's a very cheap gas fee from Atom site. Um, so this is on Cosmos Atom gas fee and once once I'm done, uh, you'll see that it's in progress and it's actually really, really fast. In just a few seconds, uh, it will actually pop out in your wallet as available balance. So as I was talking, you can already see that the number changed from 0 to 4 and it's already done. So this is like the fastest bridge ever, right? So um, Carbon Chain uh, is one of the fastest bridge on the Cosmos ecosystem. We have a finality of about 1 second, which makes us a great protocol for trading and anything related to financial products that requires a lot of transactions. So uh, back to our our protocol. Uh, if you look over to Atom, uh, to your wallet balance, you'll see Atom in now and then you can go over here and trade. So here's where you can trade Atom with, for SWIFT. So this is if you want to trade, um, uh, you really have Atom and you want to just trade for SWIFT token. So you can make a trade. The liquidity ain't too great for Atom SWIFT pair, uh, but this is just an example. So you can of course bridge in uh, USDC and BUSD. So USDC uh, on BSC chain or on ETH chain, both is fine. A BSC chain of course has lesser gas fees needed. So you can consider doing that. Uh, let me do a quick showcase of how you can bridge in USDC. Uh, I do recommend that if you are doing um, USDC, if you're coming from BSC, uh, which you should because it's cheaper fees, um, deposit BUSD, there's better liquidity in. So click on deposit and we are integrated with BSC as well. So that's one of the awesome things about uh, DMAX, we are multi-chain. Click on connect wallet, uh, make sure that you change your wallet to BSC chain. So if you click on MetaMask, they'll ask you, hey, uh, you want to change your network? And then just click switch network and I'm in. So once I'm in, uh, I can deposit my BUSD in. Uh, I don't have any BUSD right now, unfortunately. Uh, so I can't send in BUSD, but I do have BNB actually. Uh, so I think I will show an example with uh, BNB as well. So one of the great things about DMAX is that, you know when you send tokens to another chain, uh, but you're not having the gas token or the native token, you can't actually make any transaction. So on DMAX, uh, they have actually created this really useful feature that I don't know why other chains are not using, but it's flexible network fees. So you can actually use any of these listed tokens as your network fee. So I'm just going to give a quick example. Let's say I, uh, I want to buy Swift right, on DMAX, but I don't have it. So I need to send tokens in. So I'm just going to send in some BNB and I can actually use that as my guess. So you search a uh, BNB token um, over asset search BNB, then you can click on deposit and I'm just going to connect my MetaMask. So my MetaMask has a little bit of BNB. I'm just going to spend a little bit of uh, money in as my guess. So I'm just going to deposit $2 and my MetaMask will appear and I just click on confirm. So the guess fee is like really, really cheap and the whole transaction process is also really, really fast. Uh, because this is a cross-chain bridge, it's slightly longer. 
uh, if you do on IBC chains, it's actually really fast in a few seconds. So hopefully the BNB bridge into carbon will be just as fast, but I think it might take up to a couple of minutes. So we'll wait for a bit and come back to this once the BNB is in. Okay, so after a few minutes, you can see that the BNB is in. And right now we still have zero SWIFT. So usually when you have no native gas token, you can't do a single trade, right? But on DMAX, because of the flexible network fee, which is a really, really handy feature that allow you to use a lot of different tokens as a gas token, which I really think other protocols should do as well. Uh, we can actually just directly go and trade. So uh, right now I have some BNB, uh, but I think when you are doing a swap into SWIFT itself, it actually requires zero gas. So um, I am, I'm going to try with BNB BUSD first, see if we need any, see if we can make this trade without any gas. So let's say I want, I have BNB and I want to sell like just a little bit of BNB. I have no gas, so if I click on confirm and then they appear and then you can see that I'm paying the fee in BNB, which is amazing. So you don't have to run into that problem where you have to ask for falsehood or you have to ask your friends for gas on DMAX. If you have uh, any asset in, it can be used as gas. Uh, I mean, they have to be white listed, of course, so bring in the popular ones and then you can actually just start trading. So it's awesome. And if you are buying SWIFT token, uh, there's actually no gas needed. So over here, if I want to use my Atom to buy some SWIFT, let's just try with uh, one Atom to test. And you see I have no SWIFT, so I sell Atom. I can actually, uh, I click on confirm, you see that I am paying in BNB, uh, but it's zero fee. So uh, if I didn't have BNB, it will also say zero SWIFT. I, I did test that. So you can approve and then you can straight away buy it. So what's really cool is that in the background, uh, what they're doing is basically, if you look at your uh, trade history, they will actually use the switcher that you buy as fee. So this is really handy feature and it allows you to have a much more seamless onboarding experience onto DMAX. So a lot of things um, are well thought out in DMAX to improve the UI, UX and trading experience for traders. And that's why I think that if more people find out about this protocol, there's a good chance that it will catch on. So if you found this video useful, do remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye! Baby fish, do, 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 do. Baby fish, do, do.